Hello, I've brought you a new uh, journal collection that I've created and I wanted to, I'm excited to share it with you. I've been working on it for quite some time as I'm learning a new graphics program too. <laughs> so it's been fun. Anyway, this kit, I don't, I've called it notes journal kit, but I may change the name. I'll know by the time I put the video out. Um, there are a total of 25 sheets, so let me show them to you. Here is one of the journal pages. There's another one. And another one. And then I made those are th those three sheets like that, and then I made um, some collaged kind of sheets where it's not you no, it's still going to be pretty on both sides, but you could use it for other things if you wanted to. Okay, there's that, and this one, and this one, and then on the back, I'm going to show you one of the pages um, that will be available in the kit. Um, what inspired this? Uh, first of all, I found a, a book cover that says notes on it that's very vintage, and I thought, oh, that'd be so cool. One of my, um, one of the gals that purchases from my shop uh, purchased my vintage, um, what was it called? Oh, gosh. I can't remember what it's called. It was it was the tall, slender journal that I made that had a cover. It's, I'm having a brain fart, sorry. Anyway, um, she, she bought it, and then she made up a bunch of them for a retreat she was going to. So um, I got to thinking along those lines with this journal as well. It could be used for anything in any kind of journal kit, any kind of journal you want to make. But I included these pages that if you want to just fill it with lined pages, it says notes in a very fancy font. If you want to do that, you can do that. And I'm using them on the back of some of my pages. Okay, so here's another page that I created. This is an authentic um, 1909 calendar page or planner page or whatever they had back then and I scanned it into my computer and then did some work with it so that it would be you know not just plain but it would have these in the background okay let's look at the at these things let's see if you can see them all I think if I lay it down you can there's some journal cards and there's some more there's a Names are going to escape me tonight, but here's a list, and then there's just ephemera. I made some small ones and some bigger ones. You know what that's called. My brain is not working. It's late at night, and so that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Uh, this isn't the right sheet, but I changed this. I redid this and took this tab off because it didn't wasn't needed once once I realized what I'd done. I'd used a template and I thought, it doesn't need that one. And I actually made this one to look like this one. So that's going to be, sorry, I knocked you for a loop because I'm Italian and we talk with our hands. There's a jar for you. A postcard and another pretty. This kit has birds, butterflies, dragonflies, bees, all kinds of little critters. Now these I made and I will explain in a little bit. These can be used as cards, these here. Of course there's some fussy cuts on here. This is a card or could be used as a pocket. Um, I have a use for these that I had in mind. You may find a different use for them but I'll show you in just a minute. So set it right there. Here's some tags. Here's an envelope with some more fussy cuts. And here's a couple of envelopes. Two different sizes. That gives you three different styles. 
Okay, so now for some extras, I made you, there are five different half inch uh, strips and five one inch strips that you can turn over and put score tape or whatever kind of tape you use on. I printed it on, you could print it on any kind of paper, but I printed it on vellum because vellum just gives you such vibrant colors and I thought that would be beautiful. That's what I'm gonna use them for. Then I made some extra pages. There's one, there's one. So those both go with the color scheme in the kit, both the green and the yellowish, goldish. Then this is another page I just ripped. Anyway, this is a collage sheet that you could use for whatever you want. Okay, so I showed you that on the back of the journal pages that I printed on here, this is printing on white paper. That's what it's gonna come out like. These I printed on tea dyed papers. Now you can see this one has a variation in color from here to here. So, and this one, this is another tea dyed that came out a little darker. And I just printed right on them because they were ironed really flat. Okay, so what I had in mind for these pages, I'll do it on the lighter one so you can see better. You could do whatever you like, but I thought you could cut out any of these to put, this is a perpetual calendar, and you could put a picture here and here, because I left them blank on purpose so that you could design what you want. Okay, does that make that pretty clear, I think? Okay. Okay, so this is the cover that I created. I'm going to make a video of how to make the cover because it's easy to me because this is how I always make my covers, but it may not be as simple for you because you may not make your covers this way. Here's the front. There's a tag there. There's some things that you can fussy cut out and use to decorate your tags, your journal pages, your journal cards, whatever you want. So I gave you several different options here. I think make sure you can see it. I put this here in case, and I said this here, in case you want a fussy cut out around all this and glue it and, you know, make, a, make it a double layer here on the front. But that's up to you. I'm going to take, I have a, bla a, a gold pen, marking pen, um, and I'm going to, on mine, I'm going to fill in the letters so they pop out a little more gold. I I don't know how to do that in the program. I would have had to paint it or whatever. And my hand with a mouse is not that, not that great. Here's the back of the cover. I've given you, there's another tag and a card and some more things to fussy cut and use. Now, I've given you a one inch spine, a one and a half inch spine, and a two Take inch spine. Here's some tabs and some more things to fussy cut out, some words, and so that gives you quite a few things to work with. I hope uh, this was clear and <laughs> you can figure out what I'm trying to show you and tell you. Um, have a great day. And thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye now.